brushing my skin. <laughs> tuning in to Leap of Faith Life and today I'm going to go over the different products that I really like that are naturally based because I don't know about you guys but I'm going around the grocery store or Target or Whole Foods it's really hard and overwhelming for me to pick out a product that's good for the environment something that is still going to function and do its purpose um, and isn't going to cost me a million dollars to try it out because a lot of these things you try it out and you spent all that money and then you realize that you hate it so uh, I'm trying to take a little bit of that guesswork out as I learn. You guys can learn with me and I would love you guys to comment down below and let me know what stuff you guys have been using and what you like. So please join me and let's go over these recent monthly favorites. This product is a brush, a dry brush, and if you haven't tried this out, I'm going to link my video below that I'm creating on how to dry brush. Um, but this one I found at Whole Foods and it was I think only about $10 or so um, But it has this little massaging side and then the brush dry bristle side It's I like that it has the longer handle the longer hole and that I can hang it up In a place that I can see it in the morning to remember to do it before I get into the shower I'm really happy with the bristles. They're not too intense and they're not too Not intense either if you are looking for a good dry brush dry brush I recommend this one the earth um, therapeutics I really like is this it's kind of like a hairspray nourish and silk and hold mist and so it's kind of like a, a hairspray but it also makes your hair a little bit shinier I've recently gotten into rose and this has peace rose oil complex and it also has date and palm and Camilla extracts 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 you know the day after second day hair um, it makes it smell really nice it's a sulfate free and color safe and they give back to community. There's no parabens, there's no sulfates, that kind of thing. I recommend it for using it kind of a medium hold hairspray and then also just um, to give your hair a little boost. The next one is a C Booth products and it's a honey almond firming body lotion and I'm in love with it because it smells really good. Um, Cruelty free, paraben free, sulfate, sulfate free, petroleum mineral oil free pretty natural products listed on there. It, you kind of have to use, a, treat it as like a thicker lotion and do just a little bit. Other than that, I really, really love uh, this guy. And this one you can find at Target. Frame change. So this guy I got at my natural health food store. It's Brushing Rinse by Essential Oxygen. For white teeth, fresh breath, healthier gums, um, and then it has all clean ingredients in it. Clove, lemon, eucalyptus, cinnamon, rosemary, peppermint, aloe vera. Those are all perfect for mouth health. I've actually noticed a difference. I feel like my teeth have gotten a little bit whiter. I'll swish around in your mouth and then brush your teeth right after. Or you can just use it as a regular mouthwash. It's a little bit more on the expensive side. I think this one is like $10 or so. But it's lasted me uh, a few months now at least using it a couple times a day and I've been really happy with it. Next one is hand soap, and super random I know to have in a favorites video, but I absolutely love it. It's the J.R. Watkins and from Target, and um, I found it in yeah the regular soap aisle. I was really surprised though because it's got pair it's paraben free. Um, how do you say that? Sulfate free, purpling glycol free, and dye free. So I'll just put that on the screen, and you guys can tell me how what how to pronounce that. I like that it is. Um, it smells really good. It smells really good too. This one is the aloe and green tea. They've got lemon and a bunch of other different ones. Try it out if you're looking for a good hand lotion. Soap, hand soap. So this is another Target product. I heard Target apparently. Um, but it's the Alba Botanica brand and it's a gentle acne wash for oil it's oil-free gel for normal to oily skin. I tend to have an oily T-zone, but it doesn't have parabens, that stupid word again, flatlates. I just know I'm supposed to avoid it and what it looks like. <laughs> Can't read it. And no synthetic fragrances, which is nice, and 100% vegetarian ingredient. It's really still very strong. It gets my eye makeup off and the rest of my makeup. I, mean, I had bad luck for a while getting a good face wash, but this one I've been really, really pleased with. I wanna say this was Around five, six dollars too. I usually try and go for that midpoint price point. This last one, this last product I got at Target too. Sorry, this one's funny. It's 
the Woo Bamboo, and clearly I just got it, but um, I wanted to try out the natural toothbrushes that, they, that I've seen more of. They've tried the ones that are made out of recycled yogurt cups. Um, I wasn't a fan of that one. This one is made out of bamboo. It's organically grown, non-toxic, BPA-free, all materials that are easily grown again. The, bris the, bris the bristles, the bristles um, are really nice and comfortable. They're soft, this is the soft version. And it tastes a little bit like wood, um, bamboo, but it's kind of nice at the same time. I don't know, it's weird. But I just want to help you guys navigate a little bit more the natural base area of life. So going through and just picking out one thing at a time that you can change up, try something new. And let me know what you guys think, if you guys have different products that you like, and just comment down below. There you have it. Those are the products that I've been using that are naturally based. So good luck, have fun, and I'll see you guys next time.